just want to show a brief test difference. <clears throat> this is something you can even do yourself. Here's the R410 reference leak. It's just a gel. And it's got a little hole in the cap and the gel evaporates. Here's the R22, which is actually, this is R11 in it. It has a membrane. This one evaporates through the membrane. Very small leak. This is for testing your CFCs. It's testing your HFCs, fluorine, chlorine. Let's show some brief differences here. Okay, the field piece on the chlorine. I mean, I'm sorry, on the fluorine, the HFCs, extremely sensitive. I mean, literally picks it up inches away. Depends which way the wind blows. Easily picks it up and maybe two inches away. You get it or just right in the right spot. There's a huge concentration difference between being when you're right on the hole versus when you're several inches away from the hole. The concentration greatly reduces as the gas uh, diffuses out. I mean it actually would, if you looked at it like a smoke, it would be getting much wider and so it, it's very diluted the further you are away. So the field piece SRL8 pretty much goes bananas on it. Got a back rack. This one is the Informant 2. It does pick it up. But notice how much closer you have to be. Let me uh, get this one away here. Make sure you can see it. I'll get a little closer. So you don't hear it. Yeah, just barely. See, this one beeps on its own. See, beep, beep, beep. So this one picks it up maybe an eighth of an inch. And then here on the bar graph, you get it right by the bar graph there, you can see it. Get that, let that zero out. So, yeah, a quarter inch, eighth inch, but notice nothing at that one inch to two inch, like the field piece. Let's see, I think that was just a nuisance trip. Oh, back rack might be getting that. No, that's just nuisance tripping. Sometimes you're sensitive to breath. Hmm. This one seems to be a little squirrely. I'll come back to this one. Okay, Testo, this is a 316-3. Okay, it looks like at about a quarter inch. It picks it up. So on the HFC, about a quarter inch. And it's not nuisance tripping at all. Back rack. This seems to. Let me make sure everything's tight on this one. Seems to just go up on its own. Yeah, I'll come back. I'll turn off the other ones. Let's check uh, R22. 
This is a chlorine based, so I need the CFCs. You get it right on it, it picks it up. So about an eighth of an inch. Testo for CFCs. Testo is pretty good. Hey, notice you getting almost. Maybe one inch. Yeah. Yeah, half inch to one inch on the test bill. SRL8. This one is not very sensitive to the CFCs. You gotta get pretty close. Zero that out. Make sure I get that one away. So about a quarter inch. And if you're at an eighth of an inch. This is why on this SRL8, it's not very sensitive on the CFC. I just recommend you use this on the HFCs. So I turn off all these other ones here. This one's quite quiet. So the, let me look at the back rack again. First, let's see why it's, if it's nuisance tripping. I'm breathing on it. Hmm. This one just a little squirrely. Let's sit here and watch it. Yeah, that's quite squirrely. Anyway, CFC. Eighth of an inch CFC. HFC. If you just listen to the ticking, that was about a quarter of an inch. And make sure we don't have any nuisance. Okay. Now this back rack really not even picking up the HFC at all. It's hard to distinguish is it picking it up or is it just doing a nuisance? And then remember the SRL8 picks up the HFC about two inches away. So this one's picking it up about an eighth of an inch. On the uh, in Inficon, the TechMate, you can get this, this will pick up uh, really far, a couple inches away. That one. It's barely picking that up at all. 
You're gonna miss a lot of HFC leaks uh, with this leak detector. You have to have a really big leak and be right on it. When I say really big, you know, probably 10 pound a year leak. Alright, thanks for watching.